ladies and gentlemen, we're only a couple of minutes away for our main event of the evening, our heavyweight title contender fight, bare knuckle, five, two minute rounds. So get in your seats, last fight of the evening, once again, heavyweight. Tonight, Chris George. Fifth versus Jeez. John Walker. 15 kilograms difference between these two. Wow. That's big 15 kilograms and six foot four yeah. with five foot seven. So yeah. he's five foot seven, weighing a hell of a lot more than the six foot four at 100 kilos. And he's 11 years older. Chris George, 35. John Walker, the younger warrior, 24. 78 inch reach from a man who stands six foot 400 kilos, John Walker, and a 69 inch reach of the massive 115 kilo warrior at 35 years of age, saying a five foot seven, Chris George. This is gonna be a battle, guys, an absolute battle. Five two minute rounds for the heavyweight vacant BKB 3D title, sponsored by NXT Nutrition. to the crowd going wild in here tonight at the BEC Arena in Manchester, streamed by NPK Media. And if you're watching us live, it's time to go. I'm going to hand over to John Haven now for the main event of the night. So coming out now, his opponent. 
age 35, standing at 5 foot 7, 115 kilos, 15 kilos heavier than his opponent, Chris George. Supporting the Fight Factory t-shirt. Looks like he's got a big club of them as well, do you think? Yeah, they're waiting a long time for this to come out tonight. Both these guys, Dan, as you said, both got big crowds. 3D Fight Club business. MPK Media. Good man Main event. event. Very, very good man event. Main event here tonight. Five two-minute rounds for the vacant heavyweight BKB 3D title. Must congratulate the promotional team here tonight who put this show together. Absolutely on fire here this evening. Yeah, good show this. Good. Great show. Good atmosphere. The guys behind the 3D Fight Club, you've done a great job tonight, guys. Absolutely smashed it. Out the park with your show this evening. The last man standing. This is our last bout tonight. Yeah. Looking forward to this. Man. It's going to be good, Dan. It's going to be fireworks. Look at the sheer size of Chris George. And then look at the sheer height of John Walker. Both mountains. We could be looking at a repeat of the last bout. Certainly. Could be an early one. Five, two minute rounds then. It looks like we're ready to go. Just waiting for the cage door to be secured. Hopefully they might move the uh, corner away from the cage so we can get a bit more uh, uh, view. But if not, guys, we'll do our best here tonight on the blue side of the cage. So both these warriors, we've got uh, John Walker. John Walker in the white shorts, tiring above Chris George in the black shorts with the gold trim. Both, both start and calm near there. I like they both know yeah. that they're in for a five-round fight. Keep on it. Keeping it calm. So here they go. Just waiting for someone to throw something out to start this start this opening round. Just flicking things off at the minute, flicking it out. Nothing connecting. But like you say, once they do connect, that's when this game's going to start. Here we go. A little double jab there. From Walker. As Chris just puts his arm out. He's just trying to get that reach yeah, of his... He's, he's, the way, the way Chris George is popping that jab out, John Walker's going to have to start, start moving his head to get on the inside of there and start yeah. throwing something off. Yeah, he's definitely got to get him on the inside. Standing back there, he's just, he's basically just letting Chris warm up on him. Yeah. Big shot there from uh, Walker. Just threw out a lovely little left jab. Obviously, John being the taller man here. That's it. About time. That's our side of the cage there. And we did need oh, that to happen. We, we still can't see. We, and now it's made it even worse <laughs> for us. Uh, Dan's view completely obscured. We can't see anything from any of these Warriors. So we're just going to have to just look at the screens and um, hopefully the screens are roughly at the same time. Chris, Big shots. Chris George told us popping that jab out. Oh. Again, because of the sheer height of John, he still has to push nothing forward a bit. Yeah, I'll, gi I'll give that round to uh, Chris George just for... He just, he just done more. John didn't really do anything there. I think he was just trying to read him a bit, but... Yeah. With, with, the, with the size difference there, it's a bit... It, it, I mean, I've been in there with, with taller men myself, and you, so, you sometimes you struggle to get in. But the size difference between them two is, is, is height oh, and height. Oh, there's so wise, much. Yeah. Height, height and weight is just uh, phenomenal. But we'll see. But we have got a clear view now from our side, the blue side of the cage. Uh, the promotional team just come and just move their team off. But again, they're going to be there. If it was part of our team, I'm sure we'd want to be as close as we could to the action, Dan, so we can feel 
feel their passion. But again, the 10 seconds have just been knocked. So we're going to move straight in to round number two. And again, in the red corner, we've got John Walker. And with us on the blue side of the cage, the shorter but bigger man, Chris George. Chris George in the black. And of course, John Walker in the white shorts. Let's see what happens here. Well, John Walker's a big old boy, though. If he did Man. land something, it's... Both big, big men, these two. Not really laying out, they're still trying to size each other up. Yeah. And then as John Walker just comes forward, uh, Chris George steps back. Yeah. John just tries to throw another shot out there. But he's, he's throwing it, but he's throwing it so short with the height of him, you thought he would have thrown yeah, it out long. He's not really committing to a lot. He's throwing it out too. Ah, that's better. Oh. That was a better straight. He's, he's committing to a couple of jabs here and there, but it could be... That's better. He's trying to do a double there, but it's not connecting. There we go. Oh. But I don't think he wants to get too close, because I think Chris yeah. could just come in with something short and sharp like a Mike Tyson don't move. Don't blame him, mate. Don't blame him at all. Gumshield's come out, maybe, is it? Or something's been thrown in the cage. He knows he's the bigger man, and he knows he could probably win this fight on his jab alone, looking at his jab there. If he could just keep him off him with his jab. Yeah fire the right hand whenever he needs to like he just did there with that, that final exchange I think it was a double jab if you are right, um, well, the action's only just stopped here just because there's some uh, perspiration or something on the floor which is obviously brought to the referee's attention so he's had to wipe it up so maybe some water as the blue corner we're seeing to Chris this evening um, but it's just been cleared up now the cage door's going to be secured we're going to get straight back in to this uh, round number two of our main event here tonight. So again, as Dan was saying, busy now, isn't it? If John was just to push forward with that jab, yeah. he'd win it quite easily. Yeah. But I think he's too worried about Chris coming in, being the shorter man, and then just popping an uppercut. Was in it. Yeah, and he's getting lively, Dan, very lively in here. Yeah, he, he just needs to be. Do if he just dip, dipped a little bit, he'd be dipping underneath that jab there. But he's sort of leaning back. So you just see it as a. See, this is what I thought. I thought. I thought. I thought Chris, Chris was going to start start warming up a bit. Now you can see just by the way he's moving. But then again, look at that. That was that was an inch off off that big overhand there. Yeah. And well, I think if that connects, I think a good night, sweetheart. But it's got to connect. This is better from both of them. Yeah. This is a lot better from both of them. Moving nicely. Trying to read each other off. Another 10 seconds. I'm not too sure I'm going to go with these first two rounds. I think maybe just John's done a little bit more. Ooh. Because um, Chris really hasn't connected with much. Just been working that jab a bit, hasn't he? Yeah, he's working the jab, but I just think that um, John's not committing anything because if he commits... And then he comes in with a counter, Chris. I think he just could just take him out. Yeah. So he's being very technical. He's very he's thinking about everything. He's felt wind on a few shots there, hasn't he? Yes, definitely winged a few shots. But some lovely straights. Some lovely straight lefts there. But the crowd's still going wild in here tonight. Again, this bout sponsored by NXT Nutrition. Five two-minute rounds for the vacant heavyweight BKB 3D title. And we're just going about to move in to... Round three here tonight at the BEC Arena in Manchester where the crowd's going wild here live on 3D Fight Club streamed by NBK Media. Here we go. As we go into round number three of five here this evening for our main event here tonight and our concluding contest here this evening. Again, if you joined us at home, thank you so much for watching tonight. We really appreciate it. Round three. So third round. Going to see something more, hopefully, from the blue side of the cage. And hopefully Chris might come in with something short and sweet. You can see the way John Walker's got that right hand popped. He's ready to fire it, isn't he? Yeah. So we're just waiting like you guys. We're waiting for something to, to act, to be destroyed, to be detonated. We're just waiting for that detonation type from one of these true BKB he tripled warriors. He tripled, oh! He, he tripled that jab up there, did Chris. 
Lovely shot again out. It's a nice snappy jab, that. And, and, and he's using it perfectly just to keep him just off him. Hands. Just off him. Just, just I that. thought that was a tap then, but it's not. He's then banging on the, the uh, yeah. side of the cage. Completely um, threw me out. So he's stalking him down now. He's in and he's out. Oh, nice big right shot there. See, now he's using... A left and then a right. Another left. And now he's using that jab. That big left, left hand just as... A range finder for that right hand. Guys looking very comfortable inside the cage. Both moving well. Oh, oh you got nice. partners were in there, didn't he? Great again from the red side of the cage. Great work. Oh, a big shot there out. Didn't, didn't quite catch him, he wanted to. He's given a bit of a timeout. He's saying get in the neutral corner, I think he's... Yeah, I what's think it's a finger or something. He's having a word. Oh, his eye is caught, his eye has got a big split on top. Chris right. George has got a big split on top of that left eye yeah. there, Dan. Yeah, I see that. I'm not sure what he connected with there, but something did connect. And it split open his eyebrow. He has the replays here. Yeah, he's so caught lovely jab. You said about that jab, yeah, how sharp been, it was. He's been using that and jab. And you're watching it again on the on the replay. And he just kicks that in beautifully on the left hand, straight on to his left eye. Looks as though he's already caught from that leap. So medical team is seeing to now. Hopefully he can continue. Just looking now, but that was a lovely connection, wide open. And with the reach he's got, John Walker, and that tall he is, made it quite easy for him where he left himself wide open. He just caught him and slid that knuckle across. It's, it's that flicky jab he's got. He's yeah. flicking it out. The medical team are looking at him. I'm not too sure what they're going to do. We've got a cutsman inside the ring. He's saying he's showing that one of the promoters the cut. Here we go, here we go. Looks like it was called by a jab to me, I think. He's yeah. We'll just watch on the replay. I don't know if you can see it at home, guys. We're watching on the replay. Um, and it looked good. They've just spun off now. They're still looking. Um, looks like our promotional team are in the cage now, saying, look, hold on yeah. now. Are we going to continue? Are we not? They're asking him. Hopefully he will. Hopefully he will. Otherwise, it will be a win. It will be a win on the point cards. Yeah, you see that there. The blood just spurted straight out. You were bang on that, Dan. Absolutely spot on, Dan, with that. So again, we're here in Manchester, just to waiting to see what the medical team are saying. They're looking at his eye. Yeah. Uh, but it is again, he's up to the medical Doggy. team. The medical team shaking his head, well, nodding his head, I should say. You can see Dougie's um, trying to fight his corner here. And Walker just uh, give a little shrug up and said, come on, mate, I want some more. Chris is very good. That's the thing with Ben, come mate, it's like, the silliest of shots can cause can cause fight ending damage, which isn't a fight ender. That was looking like that was gonna be a great fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just started warming up in that third yeah. round. And it's just little things, but it, I suppose that's the game of bare knuckle, like he's these saying knuckles, he's gonna go, he's yes, going, he's yes. gonna continue. Top man, top man. He's saying, come on, the medical team are saying he don't Right, the medical team don't look happy, but I bet uh, they're not happy, but he said, not on my watch, but he said, I'm not agreeing to this, but if you want to go, then you go. So they've got some, uh, they put some vas on it, only a little bit of adrenaline in there as well, just to stop that bleeding. Looks like we've got the main man inside the cage now as well. Yeah. The president, Mr. Team Joyce himself. He's having a chat with uh, John Walker. Not too sure what Chris is doing here. I think he's got a substantial cut. Oh, yes, we continue yeah. Yeah, he's going to go. So he's had the cut done. We want everyone out of the cage now for this to continue. I'm not too sure what the time is on the clock um, for this round. I don't think there was much left for round number three. He needs to just start getting under that jab a bit more, moving his head, keeping himself off that centre line so he's not there to be picked because... Chris is going to work that, that cut now. Yeah. Because if that was me, that's exactly what I'd be doing. I'd be working that cut. He's just coming straight in again on that same side. But I see what I'm saying. We're not too sure how long's left. That is not a long left, so we're going to move in now. 
as we just break oh, nice. from the nice. end of round three. Yeah. I didn't think there was much on that anyway, but what a great night here tonight. And what a great way to finish off this amazing show yeah, put on by the 3D Fight Club, put on by the last man standing. And of course, Team Joyce was just inside the cage then. The president of 3D FC. It's a good main event, this. Nice. Brilliant main event. And the crowd absolutely yeah. have stuck around all evening for this. The crowd are, um, the crowd are nuts for the... Uh, I don't know which side we've got behind us. Yeah, I think it's John Walker's side. But it's, they're never going to have a look at um, Chris's cut above his left eye. And I'm sure the team just going to let that and uh, John Walker there in the red side of the cage. And as there Dan said, he's, he's going to come out and he's going to work the eye of Chris again. He's going to try and open it up again. But what a great night it is here tonight. Absolutely amazing at the BEC Arena here in Manchester. We check in both, got their gum shield in, and then we're going to move straight in to round number four here this evening. Absolutely amazing. And once again, a big thank you to NXT Nutrition for sponsoring this main event tonight. So here we go. Both warriors just going toe to toe. We're just looking, is it happening now? Lovely, lovely popping off some lovely jabs there again. All from the left, pop, 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 three pops, and another one again. Looks like he just planted it in the same place. I don't know if his vision's impaired slightly from that cut. You never know. But he just tried Ooh, to move big over yeah. and right, but he didn't connect. Mate, if that shot lands, though. If it lands, then it could be good night. But I think the hardest part is because he's so much taller, John. Yeah. That when Chris dies to eliminate that overhand right, That's it. he's got That's to it. he's got to jump into it. That's why that is, Chris is in and he's out. That that will be his best bet. Would be yeah. It's to, maybe what an atmosphere! Like, he's yeah, caught him yeah, again. Yeah. He's caught him again on that left side. He's popping that left out. He's leaving that right. He ain't doing much with the right. Maybe he's going to wait and he's just going to throw a right out eventually. Oh. Another left. He's throwing that left out. John's loving that left and straight through the middle. I think if he throws a right afterwards. Oh, he just threw a nice little cheeky right. Didn't connect though. Didn't connect. He's just stepping back. He's waiting for that opportunity to come in. Yeah, he's taking his shots perfect, yeah. isn't he? Chris he's, is certainly. Um, he's fencing that now. He's not he's, out of the game. He's. Oh, he's gone through the gears. Brilliant now, stuff. What about this is absolutely fantastic. We get into um Aye, Tom. Time again. John Walker. John Walker is tough as nails, mate. He's saying he's over. Ah. He's over. He's called it. He's over. Chris George has been retired by our referee tonight. And John Walker has done the business this evening. Again, the referee has got the final decision and he has done a great job. I've said it time and time again tonight. Referees have a tough, tough job in there. And he's took control of each and every bout tonight, Nico Joker. I must say, take my hat off to him. Done a great job, Dan, hasn't he, our referee, all of our officials tonight. Yeah, great. It's a great night of uh, fights, to be fair. That fight, great fight, that. Well impressive. Well impressive. So we've got two new BKB champions here this evening. Once again, thank you so much for joining us, watching on the live stream at home on 3D Fight Club TV. And again, what a great streaming service tonight, provided by MPK Media. These guys have done absolutely amazing tonight. The crowd are going wild. Not what they wanted, and I'm sure Chris Shaw didn't want to retire then. But the same medics back in again, see into that eye. You can't risk losing your eyesight. No chance, no. The eyes, the eyes one of them, and they have to fight another day. That's correct. And it could be a rematch on the cards because I think that deserves a rematch. Oh, 100%, 100%. But back to what I was saying earlier, imagine if it was a bit of a smaller cage. Yes. Then the tables would be totally turned against Pistol. 100%, 100%. People but, forget how, how, how much it plays a factor in, in, in the fights when it's a big when you've yep. got a big space. Especially Definitely. when people use it like Chris just did there. Yeah. Yeah, the size of that, that, that cage, that octagon is, is huge. 
But again, we're going to hand you over now to our referee. Oh, sorry, to our MC, uh, Mr. John Haven. And he'll give us our verdict tonight once our referee gets both our Warriors into the centre of the cage. Again, we're going to hand over to John Haven. Our Marshall Sherman is here tonight. Done a great job as well this evening. Along with all of our officials. And of course, all our camera crew, all the team here tonight. Absolutely fantastic show. Thank you. 